Well, good morning, people. Welcome back to the channel. Currently, heading to Auto Sleeper in Evesham, where it's well, Willisie, just outside Evesham. In this tiny, lovely, idyllic little village, and then you get, there's a, I've said it before in the previous videos, there's a motorhome builder, a motorhome builder down here, which always amazes me why it's in this <laughs> English countryside village, but tiny, tiny village. But we're getting there, and it's a nightmare to turn around, absolute nightmare, because everybody who works there must take the car to work, and there's cars everywhere. Now, it's mental, right? It's, you can get here on a night time, you have security on so you can get loaded on a night time. But with not getting that van off last night, it, Birmingham had to offload that this morning at 8 o'clock. Otherwise I would have been in here first thing this morning, offload and loaded. Because as you can see, there's cars everywhere. Whereas on a morning or on a night time, there's nobody about. So there's loads of space to turn around. There's a microwave plate rattling around inside. Absolute nightmare, this place. I just find a spot in the park up. It's not clever, like, not clever at all. Let's see if we can turn left here, but the van's part in the right spot. We've got to turn left here. You've got to drive down there and back around that corner there. Window down. Walk your nose in here. And then get round, back on the corner. Well, hitting this motorhome here with your trailer. And the fence, Mr. Fence, Mr. Car. Nightmare, nightmare place. And you come back out in reverse down to the right into the what they call a loading bay. Spinny, like Nant Nantwich, North Northwich, Northwich up that way. Get in the corner, that's the curve here. Like that. Oh, right, let's go and see the large. See if we can get this more over.
way we are, we're coming up a spinny, it's on the left here. And there's no way I'm backing in there, I'm afraid, because I'm not going to get any traction. So I've got no choice but to park on the road because I've got no chance of getting backed in there. I know this, these tyres will never get backed in there. I'm going to have to park here. So that was spinny motorhomes delivered. I cleaned my mirrors, believe it or not, but instantly they get manky. And the sun's horrible in that mirror, like, but yeah. The roads are minging, salt, and damp, ugh, horrible. So your wagon, your mirrors and windows get manky. But we've delivered that. We're on our way to we still got the two chassis cabs on for the factory a concert, but we're going via via York to pick a little van up, a little combo thing, electric thing I think, electric combo. We're picking that up for back to the yard. That's going back in the yard, getting dropped off in there. And I don't know what I'm doing after that. I might be changing trailers. Because I think all there is up the factory is caravans. I can't get caravans on this trailer. So I might be changing trailers to pick a slopey trailer up and do a couple of caravans to Ken Ryan to go to Ireland. That might be what's happening. But I don't know yet. Um, oh, the windows are manky. So we'll just come off the M62 onto the M60. Is that the M62 on the M60? Onto the M60. Goes around Manchester. Manchester. I've just got time to get to the services what's the services up here that one there <laughs> at manchester well i have but now it's seen report of an accident so that might enact us for getting there anyway we'll go crack on go to york pick a van up to take back to the yard well break over i had to close the curtains because the sun was right there and it was really nice well we've had a break now I'm on the A59 heading into New York off the A1. This is where we're going. Um, Hesse, Hesse, industrial estate. Down here. Turn right here. I'm going to have to let this car out though because there's no way I'm getting around that corner. So it's down this horrible little country lane. Over the railway line, and that sun is really low again. Over the railway line. And then you turn right into here. And they've built a new fence, which I don't know why they did, because the fence wasn't there. And I'm surprised it's still standing, like, because people used to be marks on the curb where, in, on the, there used to be marks on the grass where wagons, trailers used to catch the grass. 
So I'm surprised the gate's still standing like, because some people have a tendency to catch the gate. Seeing that, watch me catch it now, come around the corner. So we're in there. And I find the best way of getting down to this place, put the window down, because I need to clean my windows again, is to reverse down there. That's where we're heading. Best thing I think, back it up. God, oh, the trailer's minging, the truck's minging, windows are minging. Get it round. And we'll get right up to the top, get this van on. Now let's get this thing loaded. Right, that's that on. Nice and quick. It's always quick there, the lads are pretty quick there. Like, you don't mess about there. Oh, now a mad rush. Back up. Right, got a mad rush. Just back to the yard. Put it off in the yard. A quick shower in the yard. And then up the factory up the concert, get the two chassis tabs up and put, I thought I was changing trailers, I might not be now. I think I'm just going to be loading two motorhomes for South Yorkshire, so it's Friday tomorrow and I need to be home. So it's Sunday, so that's the plan. Now we'll come around this duck corner again. very tight when you're coming back out. I'm very surprised the gate hasn't been caught, especially this pole here on the left with the headboard of the trailer as it comes around. Yeah, it's tight that. Back on the A1 North and I've got clean windows again and mirrors. Let's see how long they stay clean for. Let's see if they stay clean before I get back to the yard. I very much doubt it. Because the roads are minging, minging. <laughs> I'm going back to the yard, just toward the yard about coming back, drop the van off and my trailer lights down one side, the side lights have gone out. Indicators, brake lights, all that still works, just as the side lights down one side's gone out. That'll just be because the salt's getting in somewhere and broke the connection. This time of year is horrendous, horrendous electrics. So give them a heads up I'm coming back and while they're doing that I'll have a shower and then we'll get the factory get these two chassis cabs off load two motorhomes for South Yorkshire and I might 
right. I don't know how much time I'll see how much time I've got left when I'm at the factory. Um, I'd rather do a bit extra if I can. Since it's Friday tomorrow. I mean, I could park outside the factory and go down in the morning, but then, you know, early start, do you really, you know, just to be, uh, get ahead of the traffic, or do you just head to Aikliff, Newton Aikliff? And it's only like an hour and a half down in the morning. You can start at seven o'clock, head down, get tipped. Um, and probably, Unless there's something he hasn't told us, just come straight back and load for Sunday and start all again next week. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. That's the plan of action today. It's currently, it's three and a half degrees. I mean, it's warmer than it was this morning. This morning was freezing, lad. You never know. The wash, the jet wash, might be. No, I think the jet wash will be frozen. I wish for thinking there, like, wish for thinking that the jet wash will be free of, like, unfroze. It'll be froze. Otherwise, I'd give the give the old girl a wash down because she needs a bit of love, like. The old girl's crying out for a wash and a polish, but it hasn't had one for a while. Anyway, northbound A1, we're at Borough Bridge, coming up to Borough Bridge. Oh, yeah. And let's get back in this yard and get these trailer lights fixed. Turn right up here into the yard, and then we'll get this van off. Get these lights sorted. Hopefully, swing in here. You never know. It's four degrees. The wash might work. Oh, it's weird down the side of the trail. No lights on. It's just pitch black. It's weird. Get up here. That's the transport is in to get fixed. We'll leave it here next to me. Is that my old trailer? I don't think it is. No. We'll leave it here though. While we'll go and get this van off and see if we can get these lights fixed while I go for a shower. Because they're freezing out here. I don't blame them. 
I wouldn't want to work under a trailer out here. So I'm gonna put over the pit. In the garage here we go. Oh it's freezing out there. Well, that's it. The lights are fixed. Took them literally all of four minutes. Pulled in the garage. I jumped out. I went for a shower. I come back, and the lights were fixed. So I fixed that. Uh, they were dying to go home, but I was on a break. I was on a half an hour, so I had to wait for my time to go before I could reverse out the garage. Well, so we've got a few little jobs done on the trailer that we need to do it. Uh, now we're heading through Stanley, hence the car sign saying Stanley Hand Carwood. I uh, get loaded, or you get tipped, get loaded, two motorhomes, South Yorkshire, and then we'll get to, to Sheffield, not Sheffield, Eagle, get the Eagle tonight, I think, where we're heading for. Get down there. Factory, concert, Erwinheimer, Eldest, whatever you want to call it. And as normal at this time of night, at 20 past 6, obviously the factory should. So we have to go in the top gate. The bottom gate's all locked up, can't get in. So we go top gate. And just see the guys. Just to make sure whether I'm bringing the keys back in this, that, and the other end. Yeah, all of that.
Well, that's them two offloaded and then reloaded with two motorhomes. Which them small things will be motorhomes one day in their life. Um, they won't be as big as these ones I've got on like because the ones that them two chassis I took off were dead small, they were tiny. They'd be like a small coach build. But we've got them two on. We're heading to South Yorkshire. One's are at, one's at for the dealer. One one motorhome's for the dealer. Brand new one and one's uh, a customer return. It's gone back to the factory for some repairs. Um, I think, I actually think I fetched that, I brought that one from South Yorkshire just before Christmas actually. I, I remember picking one up that was going back for repair. I'm sure that's the one I picked up. Um, so now we're heading to Acliffe. I've got time to get down there. I've probably, to be honest, got time to get to Castleford on a 10, on a 10 hour drive. But eight lifts just far enough. I don't really need to do much more than that. Um, or I could go to Ripon. I've got a little spot at Ripon. But again, eight lifts just as good. It's seven o'clock now. It'll be it'll be ten to eight by the time I get to eight lift. It's about forty five minutes away. So. I think Acliff, Newton New Acliff Industrial Estate for the night and then we'll get me tea on. Fingers crossed the, the fingers crossed the night heater is behaving itself tonight, hopefully. We don't know, we'll find out when we'll stop. Um yeah and then down to, like I say, down to South Yorkshire for what half eight to quarter past eight, got the time to come in. Um, and we'll get these two delivered and I think it's just a case of running straight back get loaded thanks for watching everybody that's me parked up at Acliffe Industrial Estate I had to go to McDonald's it's 8 o'clock now so I'm in no mood to be cooking food at this time of night. So it was a quick stop in there to get to grab some chicken nuggets and 8 o'clock, but I had left Birmingham at 8 o'clock, it's now 8 o'clock. But I did get the van off this morning at about 7 o'clock. Busy day to day. Productive day to day. So and I don't know where these, these street lights are normally on. And there's no street lights on. Hmm, should be alright, it's normally safe enough here. So like I always say, if you can like if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you can subscribe to the channel, it helps the channel out. Um and we'll keep digging what we're doing. Um try and get as much footage of offloading, unloading bits and bobs, bit different jobs. We'll try and keep doing what we're doing and driving and not driving and all that. Uh, yeah, but thanks for watching everybody. And I always, as always, we'll catch you on the next one.